Uh, Miles Garrett said this, which was kind of interesting. Um, this is from Mary Kay Cabot tweet. Uh, we've known that type of demeanor, that attitude, and uh, for better or for worse, it works for him. I'm not mad at him using that fire and that chip on his shoulder to help him play to that level that he has. He's been successful in what he's done. Uh, that is from a conversation with Mary Kay Cabot after practice yesterday. Uh, Mary Kay also tweets this. Baker Mayfield said, that's not how I phrased it. That's not even what I said. Um, that was from a little earlier um, today. But again, you know, the, the Browns players aren't going to say anything. Uh, Baker was trying not to say anything. Whether he did or not, who knows. But it's just interesting. What do you expect from week one? You know, the, the Panthers-Browns matchup, because of the whole you know, the guy that was your first overall pick is coming back to play the team that kind of turned its back on him. Uh, it's intriguing. What do you expect from that matchup? For, I mean, from the Baker side of it, I, I don't blame him for using, you know, the everything that transpired this offseason as motivation. I also can't blame if they're going to go with the side of the story that was told yesterday that he said these things and they're going to use that as motivation Kevin Stefanski has never really been one to publicize any of that stuff that they're maybe, you know, bringing up in the locker room or talking about to use as motivation. But we know that these teams and these players see that stuff, you know, hear that stuff, talk about it. So I'm sure it'll be motivation for them as well. Um, I Listen, Dave, I've gone as far as to say that I think in, in some ways, and I'm not usually on this boat because it's week one of the season, um, that in some ways week one is a must win just because I think if you lose that game, the emotions of the fan base are going to be just this groundswell of people who just think the sky is falling, season's over already. Um, I think inside the locker room, and, and maybe they're not looking at it exactly like I am, but you're looking at the season in almost two parts, right? It's, it's Jacoby Brissett, part one for 11 games, and then Deshaun Watson for the final six. And I'm trying to think, in that first four games, you need to get as many wins as possible with, with Jacoby Brissett because the schedule after that gets a little tougher. And I don't know how many wins I can count on with Jacoby under center after those first four. So I'm trying to figure out where I get those wins and, and scatter them. If you don't win as many as the first of the first four as possible, I think Pittsburgh is a toss-up in that first four because it's a division game and they're always going to play you tough. So to me, like, I think it's a must win in terms of this team setting themselves up to be a playoff contender. Doing that, I, I, that speaks to how I feel about this game. And I think just the the uh, meaning behind it, obviously there's the, the ancillary stuff with the relationship that was between Baker and the team. But also I just think the, the meaning of this game for – the Brown season and how it's going to play out, I think, is also there as well. Yeah, after those first four, the, the schedule gets a whole lot tougher. So, um, yeah, and again, Panthers were not a good team last year. They've obviously improved some, uh, but it, it's a game the Browns probably need.